Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Test Pat Please Ignore 2. So at the end of my last episode, I had been to the Deep Dark to set it up as a kind of a mining age, because I hear it's pretty good in terms of like, exploiting resources from it. Uh, but on today's episode, what I'm going to be up to is doing a little bit of bee stuff. So what I want to do first of all is get a second apiary set up, mostly for breeding. So um, what I want to do is pinch the mutator out of this one. Because uh, what we're going to try and do is kind of work work our way towards um, getting Eulorian bees, I think would be a good start. Good place. Why did why in God's name did I put the mutator back? Oh, what I want to do is put you down there. Perfect. Right. So, yeah, what I want to do is let's plonk down another uh, eight, alveary even. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. Just with a mutator. Don't need any of the fancy blocks quite yet until I want to start using it for... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Production, like that one. So let's just get this all down like so. We should make an alveary. Should flip over any second now. Unless I've done something wrong. I shouldn't have done anything wrong. What have I done wrong? Unless the mutator can't be... Oh no, there it is. It's, it's changed over. Perfect. Okay, so what we need to do is, in terms of the mutagen, we needed... Did I not pick up any uranium ore? Okay, let's get let's grab some of that. So, uranium ore. Okay, let's wackadoodle you into there. There we go. Perfect. Um, we've got some spare alveary, so that can go away. Let me just see how, many, how am I doing for centi paneling? Quite well. Uh, I also need some wood. So let's grab wood, like so. so. I think what we need is not to use you, but do I have any jungle wood in here? Uh, do you have some jungle wood? Uh, yeah, let's grab you. Let's get as much as possible because I need to put more wood into here to actually start keep producing uh, scented paneling, which I've got loads and loads of honey, but just absolutely no uh, no wood. But there we go. Okay, so let's have a quick look at Eulorium. Let's go for drone just so we can look it up. Okay, so we're going to need to go through a big old kind of uh, chain. So we're going to start off by working towards... Uh, what do we need for Frugal? Frugal is down the... Uh, that's down the nether, um, the nether side, so I have to do that later on, I think. But uh, so fiendish and sinister. So fiendish is sinister. Okay, so we're going to need sinister by looks of things, which is modest and cultivated in the nether. Okay, so we need to breed these two up in the nether to actually make the sinister queen. So that's something to look down later on. But first of all, what we're going to do is have a quick look at the nuclear line. So let's have a quick look. So we need unstable and corroded. So corroded is resilient and modest. Okay, I think we can do that one first. So we need a resilient and a modest bee. Oh no. Okay, so I might have to write this down just because otherwise this is going to get very, very uh, complicated. So uh, nuclear. So what we need first is a resilient bee, I think. So which is robust and industrious. And robust is tolerant plus... Oh my god, I've forgotten how complicated this is. So we need rocky and diligent to make tolerant. Okay. Let's start off with that. So we need a rocky and a diligent. So do we have any diligent drones? I do have one diligent drone, but no more. Okay, let me uh, grab an apiary, just so we can start breeding some of that out. Okay, wherever I've put them. Did I put them in there? No, I put them in here. So let me plonk you down there. You and you need to go in there. We also need to shorten the lifespan, which I think we need chocolate frames for, which from what I remember. So let me see if I can make a chocolate frame, which is an impregnated frame with cocoa beans. So let's make an impregnated frame. Can we make a chocolate frame? Do we not have any cocoa? Ah, never mind. So it looks like I'm not making a chocolate frame. But uh, that's going to breed very, very slowly. I think I need flowers. Is it in range of flowers? We'll see in a minute. Once this lifespan starts going down. Let's go back to Eulorium bees. Um, Eulorium drone, sorry. Where else can we start? So let's go down the nuclear line. So we've got unstable and corroded. No, so stable is prehistoric. Ah, this is another one we could possibly do. So we need primeval and ancient. So ancient and secluded. And ancient is noble plus diligent. Noble plus diligent? Was that right? Oh my god. So yeah, I might need to write this down in a second just because this is rather complicated to actually get all the way up to your Lorian bees. So um, what's secluded? Secluded is monastic plus austere. 
And austere is modest and frugal, which is... Okay, that's another hellish one. So monastic is... Can we not get that? Okay, that's apparently not letting us get monastic. So I have no idea how to get to secluded then. So it doesn't actually have a recipe for monastic drones. That's weird. Am I missing something? So I have no idea how to actually get that particular bee. Monastic princess. So what do we use it for? We use it for... Is there no other way of getting primeval? So primeval is... Um, primeval, so primeval is ancient plus secluded, but we can't get secluded because we can't get monastic. Um, let me just go look at that up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I went away and had a look, and the oops, so Daisy, what am I doing? So the monastic bee that you need for the ancient drone, or is it prehistoric? No. So primeval, secluded, yeah, so the monastic drone apparently you can only get from an apiarist villager. So what I'm going to have to do is go away and do that off camera. So what we might do today is actually work on the frugal drone first, I think. So we need modest and sinister. And then sinister we get with cultivated and either modest or tropical. And we need to do this in the, in the nether, basically. So we need cultivated plus tropical in the nether. So let me just destroy, oops, daisy. I need to destroy all of this. Ah, that, that did not do that. So let's try this one. Ah, that's more like it. Oops, it is. That actually destroyed my um, my wood there. So I don't know where that went. That's kind of disappeared. Very weird. Let's get rid of you as well. There we go. Get all those slabs back. So let's head to the nether. So we'll head out this way. We'll try and do this in the nether instead. So, oh yeah, we need the bees as well, don't we? So let's make sure we grab what we need so we need like modest and tropical do we have any modest tree we got modest queen maybe it's just better to take a cultivated princess do i have a cultivated princess you might be cultivated let me just double check cultivated rocky now you're not cultivated quite yet so let's breed you back out with a cultivated drone so do we have any cultivated princesses or are they all queens so they're all queens, so maybe I have to breed some of these out first. Let's have a look. So how close are these two breeding out? None of them are particularly close, which is not which is not good for me, but uh, hey-ho. So Daisy, do I have any cultivated princesses around here? I don't think I do, do I? Uh, maybe it's even quicker just to go, oh, I've got a modest queen, modest queen, water queen, modest queen. Ugh, that's typical. Um... Yeah, so apparently I don't have anything I need to actually get going, which is kind of frustrating. Um, so we were waiting around for these bees to finish breeding out. So what else was it I needed? I needed um, like a modest drone or a jungle drone as well. Um, okay, so what I might have to do is go away again, go around and get some of the modest and the jungle or the jungle drones, and actually come back when I'm ready to go. So again, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I've managed to find myself a load of tropical bees. Uh, let's grab ourselves some cultivated bees while we're at it. So we were going for, I believe, the sinister line, weren't we? So that was the frugal line. So we need, ah, uh, we do need some modest bees, however. So I haven't actually got them yet. So the fiendish was sinister plus, oh no, yeah, we need sinister. So yeah, modest plus sinister makes frugal. So we're going to try and get that line done today day so yeah we need um cultivated plus tropical makes sinister so we're going to do that one and then we also need some modest bees so um yeah where the hell is my nearest like desert biome i can't even remember that now i think it was like all the way over here somewhere can't remember how far away it was do i have it bookmarked uh no i do not okay so let's i think it's over here somewhere so if we boost away over here really quick you had to go to a tropical biome, which is a little bit further away, but I think my desert biome is over here somewhere. I'm just going to try and get there as fast as possible. Let's boost our way over. Grab some tropical bees and then head to the nether, I believe would be a, the next step. Start trying to breed up these bees. Get one line finished, so at least one half of the, um, the Elorium line I think would be a good idea. This is a marshy biome, so... I think the desert is in this direction. Can't remember though. Let's 
get over here, see if we can find some modest bees and then head back. So uh, yeah, I think off between this and the next episode, what I might try and do is try and find the uh, like an API villager and try and get those monastic bees. So that way we can then start working on the other side of the line in the next episode and then hopefully produce some Eulorian bees as well would be quite nice. So uh, yeah, don't think we're too far away from a desert biome now from what I remember. It's like just the other side of here maybe? Yeah, I think it's I think I think it's just up and over this hill is a desert biome, so it wasn't too far away, or is it? I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, there's a desert biome. Oh, there I can actually see a modest modest hive right there. So let's uh, oh, can I see two modest hives? So let me grab you. So Daisy, what the hell's hurting me? Oh, it's a cactus. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I'm under attack, what is it? Oh, it's just, just a cactus. It's fine, it's fine. So let's grab some modest bees. Uh, is there an APS, apiarist in this village? I can't remember. So we're having a quick scat around, see if I can find an apiarist villager. Can't see one, so let's see if we can find some more modest drones before heading back. Can't, oh, there, there's one. I was going to say, about to say, I can't see any, but uh, let's grab you. Nice and quick. Okay, so anything else around here? We're looking for those modic. So there's an unusual hive. That's not useful. Ah, uh, we'll grab that one, and then we'll head to the Nether. Okay, let's grab you. Perfect. That have no bees in it. Wow, that's depressing. I don't think this uh, this laser drill is the best way of actually harvesting bees but it's definitely the most convenient instead of having to buy instead of having to build loads and loads of um what's what i'm looking for scoops this is definitely a good way of harvesting there we go so we've got some bees that time maybe just one more how much have we got we've got two modest princess three modest princesses you know what i think that might be enough actually so what i'm going to do is meet you guys back over in the nether in a brief moment Okay guys, so I'm here in the nether, so we're gonna try and get started. Oops, so there's trying to eat an apple here. Try and get started on breeding up the bee. So yeah, we're just trying to make the frugal uh oops, so he's apparently got caps lock on frugal drone for now. So let's have a quick look at that. So to start off with, we're making the sinister line, which is cultivated plus modest or tropical. So let's get the alveary set up. So one, two, three. I'm just gonna build it here, nice and straightforward. There we go, almost there. Oops, a daisy. Oh yeah, we need to put the mutator in, don't we? So let's put the mutator in here. Grab you. Drop the mutator down. Then we need one and two. And then we need to put you down like so. So I think that should work. I'm hoping this is going to work now. Otherwise I'm going to look a big old fool. Let's put the uranium back in. Okay, so we need to put in, uh, was it a tropical and a cultivated drone? Now, is this going to breed up? So we're, we're in hellish arid right now. So temperature between hot and hellish humidity, arid required. Okay, so, okay, so no daytime, no flowers, hostile environment, not bright enough. Ah, okay, slight problem. I don't think this is going to work. So I think what I need to do is essentially breed up this first. So what do I need? I need no daytime, hostile environment. Okay, so I think this is not going to work here so basically what i think i need to do is almost breed do we need to almost breed this one up in the overworld first and then the so temperature between hot and hellish humidity and arid required to actually do the breeding so that's a sinister so we cultivated tropical but then it needs not bright enough no flowers not daytime hostile environment not bright enough which is really weird because I can't see any other way of actually breeding it up without having to kind of... So it requires this hellish and arid uh, requirement, but then... Um, maybe I need to... I can't... It's restricted to netherlight biomes in terms of the actual breeding, but... Um, can I... Do I actually have to, like... It's not going to breed up because it's, like, giving me all these errors unless I have to kind of um, account for these and then... What's the word I'm looking for? Count for these and it will literally only breed up in here. Okay, let me just go go away, have a quick read of this, and I will be back in a moment. 
Okay guys, I think I'm not going to use the tropical bee. I think uh, I was reading it and it said apparently the modest bee is the much better way to go here in terms of because this should be able to withstand this particular environment. Okay, so now it's not saying no flowers. So am I now missing a cactus? So I think modest queens require a cactus in terms of the plant. Let me just double check that. So we're going to grab the bee Eliezer. Let's run you through there. So cacti, yeah. So we're going to need to go back and grab a cactus real quick. Let's go do that. Oops, so lazy. I just throw that on the ground. Let's put you into. Oh nope, I don't want you in there. I want you in here. There we go. Let's go back and let's go back and grab a cactus real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Come on, load. There we go. Oops, so lazy. I'm just going to scoot over to here. Use my uh, wireless uh, wireless access point. Oops, so lazy. There we go. Get inside. So we need a cactus. Excellent, we've got one cactus spare. We also need some sand. There we go. One piece of sand. Let's get it back, see if this works. That's quicksand, not sand. God damn it. Sand, we want sand. Bog standard sand. Thank you very much. Okay, so we'll head over this way. Yeah, who knew it was... Uh, oops, uh, ah, oops, lazy. I was trying to access the wireless access point uh, all the way over here, which is not a good idea. Okay, so let's head back into here. So yeah, the modest drone will actually work in the nether, which is uh, which is better than using the um, the jungle one, apparently. So let's drop down that piece of sand like there with the cactus on top. Okay, so apparently it's not going to work like that. There we go. Why are you not planting? That's weird. Uh, sand. Go there, and then we need the cactus. There we go, that's weird. Let's see if that works now. So, hopefully, this should start breeding up. We got the right flowers down now, right? Got a cactus. Let's try putting you back in. So, still saying, oh, there we go, no flowers is gone. So, that should now start. Oh, that's a noble stock. Oh, I need, I wanted pristine. Uh, let's, let's grab you out. Let's try a uh, pristine stock. That'll, that'll, work, that'll work better. Is this big noble? That's ignoble as well. That's not what I want. I do have modest drones though, which is good. So providing I've got at least one pristine to work for me all the way through to frugal drones, that should be fine. So we should be now making the sinister one. We've got the mutator, which should guarantee us a 100% mutation because basically at the moment, if we have a quick look at sinister, to actually breed this up is a 60% chance. So what this uranium ore does is give us a 10 times uh, chance for a successful mutation. So basically, we're sat at 600% in terms of that successful mutation. So in theory, this should work perfectly first time. And then basically what we're going to do after that is then do the modest and the sinister to get the frugal drone, which... Um, I'm wondering if that's going to work in the nether or not, or whether or not we're going to have to... So this is Diona Nocturnal. Oh, yeah, we want... I want to see what the Eulorium drone, how that works in terms of in the overworld. So um, let's have a quick look. So it's Diona Nocturnal, Tolerant Flyer. I don't know how it's going to work in the overworld, whether or not it will actually uh, run in the overworld or not, but we'll have to wait and see. That's going to take a little while to breed out. I will just cut away again. I know I've done a lot of cutting in this episode, but uh, it's kind of time-consuming stuff. So I will be back in a second once this is bred out. And uh, yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I don't know what happened, but uh, for some reason, the princess didn't actually come out as a pure, as a, as a sinister drone, which is kind of bizarre. The looks like the drones have. No, they're sinister, modest, and sinister, sinister. Which is really weird, because the mutator should have pretty much guaranteed 100% mutation now. I don't know why it has, which is kind of bizarre. Unless things have been changed in the mutator since I last used it. But this is all very weird, so I don't know what's going on. So I'm probably going to have to do... So that's cultivated modest. So I've got to drop you back in with another modest drone, I think, maybe? And just try and breed back up to sinister. Um, or even that would have been actually if I'd done Sinister Modest there that would have actually given me a chance or I don't know but basically I'm going to have to wait for that to hostile environment oh great because that's cultivated it's now not working and no flowers oh god so problem so basically what's happened is that I now can't do what I want to do which is kind of annoying I've made a Sinister Drone 
So I could, in fact, go back and find myself a modest drone for later on. So I could do modest and sinister, for example, and try and breed up the next one, which would be frugal. So yeah, modest plus sinister makes frugal. So I could try and make up a modest, um, a modest queen, and then does that work? No, that's that's wrong. That's a modest queen. I want a modest princess. Yeah. So that's gonna breed up, and that should, in theory, make frugal because it should, according to the. According to the calculations, this should be a 100% chance, but I don't know why it's not doing it. But uh, I'm going to have to do this off camera now, because this, otherwise this episode is going to go on way too long of me just kind of going in and out all the time. As you can see, it's going up pretty slow. So at the beginning of the next episode, what I'll probably look to do is start working down the next line. So what I'll probably have is multiple alvearies. Uh, produce uh, breeding up uh, the next line and then I'll also try and get the what's it called the monastic drone so I'll go, I'll go out off camera see if I can find myself um, the, um, the the APS villager and then hopefully we shall then be able to start producing some uh, Eulorian bees but I don't know if it I don't know if it'll be done by the next episode but, but I'll give it a go but I'm gonna leave it here for now as always guys don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time Goodbye.